Hey everyone, we are here with Rob and Jessica, who are actually the main people who are organizing the event for International Fashion Week here in Orlando, Florida. So, could you mind telling us about the organization process behind um, Fashion Week and kind of how you've kind of got everything in line? Okay, sure. Yeah, we're really excited that we are producing Orlando International Fashion Week. And this is our second year doing it under Fierce Entertainment Management. And we are really excited to see the growth from last year to this year. So with the organization of it, we partnered with over 20 designers, wow. several companies, which Rob can elaborate on, that is making this such a huge success. Uh, so um, today here we have uh, Elite Catering. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the Design House of Color, which is one of our partners. Yep. Uh, we've also partnered with the Caribbean American Passport. They publicate to uh, over 200,000 uh, publications, you know, throughout the state of Florida um, and the Caribbean. So, you know, it, it's a, a pretty big deal. Um, the idea behind it is really to bring a whole bunch of people together that are interested in fashion. Um, we got a strong hair and makeup team. We got, you know, a, 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 we call them Team Fierce, but our talent director is strong. You know, we have a backstage coordinator, uh, security and, and um, logistics manager, and of course, some other family, uh, Jessica and I are brother and sister. So, you know, it's a family business kind of thing. And everybody, uh, everybody that's involved is an extension to our family. Yeah. Now, Jessica, you actually quickly mentioned the differences from last year to this year. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on some of those differences, you know, the growth? Sure, yeah. Uh, one thing that you'll that'll stand out that you'll see on our website and on our social media pages is that this year we use the same venue, the Orlando Science Center, but if you compare the pictures, you'll yeah. see the size of the crowd and the stage and the ambiance. Yeah, a lot of people So there. it was crowded and that was a big, um, huge success for us. And it, it shows just how we've grown with our partnerships and our team. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely something different as far as the performances and the setup, the vendors that came out. It was a big the production. The designers. All the oh, yeah, the that designers. We, we had um, we had four youth children designers, uh, children wear designers. And then we showcased eight designers after the children's show last night. And in between that, we had a dance performance. We had a pop rock singer, Shane Lighton, who's actually on tour and stopped here in Orlando for Fashion Week to perform for us. So we're really excited about that. So now, do you have any plans for next year with Fashion Week? Maybe oh, yeah. a different venue? Uh -huh. Are you going to stay at the same venue? Uh, who else you may be bringing in, if you know, as of now? Uh, we do, but um, we're not at liberty to say. Okay. But I can, I can guarantee you that our team has already been working on um, uh, the plans for next year. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking at some of the same venues okay. as a hint, and um, we are looking at it a much bigger venue. Yeah. Um, so our, our goal has been, and, and we're starting to see some of it, is to get the city more involved yeah. with this and, and make it the city's event. So uh, we're starting to have some uh, leeway towards that, mm -hmm. and the city will be more involved uh, next year. Already. Now, was there a big difference in kids' clothing lines this year versus last year? Was it around the same? Well, I would say that we had uh, three more designers, or two or three more designers. KK Swimwear was with us last year, and they were back this year, and they had a huge showcase. Oh, yeah. I think they made Everyone a big Everyone loved the swimwear. Yes, we're really happy for them. They came up from Miami to showcase. Yeah. yeah. It's very cool to see the uniqueness of the different designs, yes. you know? So I can't wait to see what happens next year, you know? Awesome. Are, you, are you planning on having a lot more designers? You know, as we grow and as the venues are larger, we're able to showcase more designers. So that is a goal, is to get exposure for the designers involved. One thing I'd I like to say is, that, I mean, if you were impressed with Sundays, you, you definitely have to come out to Saturday show. <laughs> uh, Saturday show is going to be a bigger production. Um, so. Along those lines, one thing that we've thrown out there with the closing show is that there will be a political uh, official participating in Fashion <laughs> Week. So be on the lookout to see who's going to rip the runway. <laughs> right. that's, a, that's a little break-in story right there. So yes, a, a, a city official will actually be walking in, in the show on the final night. And real quick, what's the social media sites that the viewers can check out? Because you talked about the photos being different last year from this yes. year. So where can they find that? Yes, absolutely. Find us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. 
uh, look up Orlando International Fashion Week on Facebook. On Instagram, it's Orlando International Fashion. And then on Twitter, Orlando International Fashion Week as well. Well, thank you very much for letting me talk to you guys. No it's been thank an you. amazing, awesome. amazing few it's days. Our thank you. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, take care.